Hello, it's me Robin with Simple Food, Simple Life. Today we're going to get a little bit nostalgic. I'm going to make something for you that was a part of my childhood. It may have been a part of yours or you might have made it for your children. And if you have never made this, then you're going to want to know how to make it. All right, let's go back in the past for just a few minutes. As promised, this is going to be a dish that is probably very nostalgic for a lot of you. It is for me. My mom made it for uh, us when we were growing up, and I made it for my kids, and I bet some of you have made it for yourself or your kids, or you grew up with this. So we're going to make egg in a basket so these are the ingredients we're going to need. We're going to need a slice of bread. We're going to need an egg. And we're going to need some butter. Okay? All right. So the object is to, now this is just a biscuit cutter. And so I'm just going to make the hole in the, t in the bread. And then I'm going to show you how I do it so that you too can have the perfect egg in a basket. Okay, here's the little adorable toast round. It is cute. Some, some um, people say that it, it is, you take out a square portion, but this is the round one. This is what my mom used to do. If you don't have a biscuit cutter, use um, a glass, a juice glass, whatever you have. Now, I have my skillet, and I'm just melting some butter in the skillet. Some people like to butter the bread. I find that to be awkward. So I prefer to melt the butter in the skillet. So that's all I'm going to do, just melting the butter in the skillet. It doesn't have to be sizzling hot. We don't care about that. Okay, now, this is how I like to do it. I like to put the bread in the butter, and then I like to turn the bread over. See, now it's all saturated with butter, because that makes it taste delicious. All right, let's take a look at it. We're gonna flip it over. It's not too bad. Now I'm going to take out the little round. We're going to put that off to the side so it can continue toasting. Now I'm going to put the egg in. Doesn't this look beautiful? Now then, this underside, you notice the underside wasn't toasted yet when I flipped it over. But now it's going to toast and it's going to cook along with the egg and the egg is going to cook and then we're going to flip it over so that the top side of the egg can cook. I personally think that an egg in the basket should have a runny yolk but that's just me. I can't be held accountable if you don't like a runny yolk in your egg in the basket because otherwise you will be missing out on the best part. I'm just saying, okay? <laughs> I put a little more butter in there because, well, I like it. It's delicious. I'm going to flip this over. Turn my heat down a bit more to low because I don't want my yolk to get too hard. Because a hard yolk ain't no yolk. I mean, joke. <laughs> Pretty awesome. I'm going to remove the little toast round because it's cute as a button. Mm 
I flipped my egg in the basket over. Now we get to dry it. I just toasted another piece of bread. Really, this is fried bread, actually. So, I am going to have this with my egg in a basket. There's the egg in a basket. There it is. Now, I took out some of this lovely apple butter my little sister gave me. And I'm going to have that on the extra bread. All right, now let's let me show you something. This is how I like to eat. And ever since I was a child, I like to eat my egg in a basket just like this. I like to take my little round toast because it's cute. And I dip it in the runny yolk, which is like the best. Oh, it's the best. Oh, first of all, I have to put a little salt on there. I have to put a little pepper on there. Awesome. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I hope you give this a try. This is so good. I'm so happy. Mmm. There's just something about that bread when it's fried up. It's like the best. Mmm. Then after that, you take that delicious fried bread and egg and you and you eat it. Mmm. Mmm. When my kids were younger, I had a big griddle, and I would make, could make several slices at once on the griddle. It was awesome. Mmm. Now then, for the lovely, I usually wait until I finished my egg in a basket, but. This is a beautiful apple butter. I have never made this kind of apple butter, but just a hint, it has red hots in it. Mmm. <laughs> oh, wow. That's good. Thank you. Appreciate it very much. Mm. All right, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to eat the rest of my breakfast. And then I'm going to, I'm going to have a cup of coffee. Mm. Great. <laughs> I hope you give this a try. If it brought back some memories, let me know. And let me know what you call it. Because I know everybody has different names for it. All right. I love you guys. You know I do. As always, you know that little is much when God is in it. Indeed it is. All right. I love you. I will talk to you later. Please like, subscribe, and share because maybe somebody else would like to know how to make this the perfect way. All right. Love you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.